Hello, this is Rochelle Agatha, and this is the My Biz Lab Overview Lecture. So the first thing I want you to do is to navigate to my website, which is ragathacpa.com, and go to the Miramar and the Business 100 tab. And once you do that, I want you to navigate down and watch the two My Lab and Blackboard integration videos. There's a video one and a video two. They say the same thing. They walk you through how to um, get your My Biz Lab up and running, whether you purchase the access with the book or you're purchasing straight from Pearson. They just say it in two different ways, but watch them both, and it's very self-explanatory. Once again, these two videos are going to walk you through how to either use the access that came with the book that you purchased or to purchase the access directly from Pearson. If you do not have your financial aid yet, Pearson allows 15 days of temporary access, and you can go ahead and follow those instructions. Um, if you're waiting to purchase your book from the bookstore, because as of the date and time of this recording, I know that Pearson and the bookstore are having a little bit of an issue of getting those books there. It's a brand new version, and, um, and there aren't any used ones. You can still get started with the access right away, so watch those two videos. Once you're done with that, then you're going to navigate back to your My Biz Lab tab because it, once you follow those um, two videos, you will be integrated inside of your Blackboard. And when you click on your um, My Biz Lab tab, you, all of the tabs you see here will work. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click out of here and go to the course home um, because I already have it open. So when you get inside of your course home, yours will look slightly different because I'm an instructor. I want you to do a couple things. I want you to run your browser check and make sure that nothing pops up, um, that your browser is working properly. You, you can't have pop-ups on. Um, I've been using my BizLab products, uh, my, my accounting lab, my BizLab, etc., for many, many years, and I run it fine in Internet Explorer. Some people like it in Chrome. It's up to you, but you have to make sure your pop-ups are not on and that the browser you're using security has the eCollege um, as an accepted site. So go ahead and run that. If you get some pop-up about the test gen not being up to date, don't worry about it after you do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you're all set up, you will be doing assignments and taking quizzes and tests in here. So you will notice that inside of, um, I've got them all set up and they're set up by a media and a regular. So for every chapter, there's a chapter and like chapter one media and chapter one. So inside the media, these are really simple points. You just open them and you watch and you get the points. There is a video or a couple of videos inside each chapter that are fun um, assignments that will have reflective uh, assignments with them in the second um, folder. I'll show you in a moment. There's some flashcards for each chapter. Just run through them and, and hopefully they'll help you instead of making manual um, flashcards. When I go back to the assignments, then when you go into each chapter, these are multiple choice, true, false questions about the, the chapter. And when you click on them, I'm going to go ahead and click on one. Um, you can see that it'll pop up and it'll tell you um, they're all worth, these are worth 30 points and it'll say that you, you know, right now this one's a one point out of the 30 points and you answer the questions and this one actually happens to be part of the video so you can watch the video again here and then you just keep moving through and it saves as you go. Make sure you save the entire thing when you're done. Um, you can try these as many times as you would like until you get 100%. That's the point on the homework. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close, close that and go back. You can see inside every assignment they look the same. It says the chapter, the due date, um, the last time you worked it, how many points, what percent you're done. Um, what percent is done. Uh, everything that you do in my biz lab will be imported and synced into Blackboard. It happens regularly, but give it time. If you complete an assignment and you immediately go to Blackboard, you will not see the score there. there there's a time that it syncs. Also, it syncs anything you've worked on. So if you're working ahead in the class, it's going to bring those points in whether you're done or not. So just, just be cognizant of it. You don't need to send me emails and say my points aren't there. I will do a, a review 
and have everyone have time to make sure everything is reviewed before the end of the class. When you take the exams um, inside of here, some of the, ex the exam may have a study plan assignment associated with it that you have to complete before you take the exam and it, it will say so. Exams will not show up until they're available. So if you recall from the course calendar, I put availability dates for exams. I leave them open for a couple of days and the first one being October 5th through the 12th. That gives you time to plan ahead, so you don't see an exam here right now. I'm gonna go back and talk about the study plan for a moment, because once the exam is available, such as exam one, it'll, you'll see that there's a study plan that says you have to get 25 of 40 points before you can take the exam. So it's my way of making you study. So it's kind of a cool little thing. You practice, you quiz me, you can keep doing it as many times as you want until you master it. Be, master all 40 would be great, but I'm, I'm mastering 25 out of 40 um, on, on each one. The Pearson e-text is um, available within if you bought the access with the e-text, which I highly recommend. It makes it easier for you to click in and out inside of the, um, the chapters that you're in. The whole complete e-text is here. When you go inside a chapter, it will bring up just that chapter. And then that's all you really need to worry about. So let's go back to here. So you can click on um, inside Blackboard. It, you can go straight to the assignments, to your results, to the text, to the library, multimedia library, which I've linked them all inside those media folders. And just keep in mind that the grade, the, your grades will all be in my grades. So I'm going to recap real quick. Go, go to my website, watch the two integration videos. Um, after you do that, get yourself registered, whether it's with temporary access or not. Go back into Blackboard and complete the um, My Biz Lab Overview assignment and answer the questions, and you'll be all set. Send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you.